Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, which is your station where you watch and learn. I'm your teacher, Mr. Mongi Francis, and I will take you through chemistry form 2. Today we are going to look at acid, base, and salts. Specifically, we are going to emphasize on bases. Previously, we have looked at acids. This is lesson 2, where we look at bases. Uh, what is a base? And what are the recent goals? So, by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to define what is a base. You'll be able to differentiate between a strong base and a weak base. And lastly, you'll be able to describe some of the properties of bases and therefore give some of the application of bases. So, Alhini has defined a base as a substance that ionizes in water or a solution to give hydroxide ions as the only negatively charged ions. There are other people who have tried to come up with a definition like Bronsted and Lolly who basically defined a base as a proton donor. That is acceptable, sorry. So what is ionization? Some bases ionize and some ionize completely while others ionize partially. So by looking at the following illustration, hydroxide ions in this ionic compound where we use B as the cation dissociates or ionizes to give us B cations and hydroxide ions. Therefore, if we have hydroxide ions, therefore this becomes a base. What makes a base strong and what makes a base weak? The only difference is on ionization. So strong base ionize completely, while weak base ionize partially. Example include sodium hydroxide. From the equation given uh, below, you can see that sodium hydroxide ionizes completely to give us sodium ions and hydroxide ions in the solution. Ammonium hydroxide ionizes partially, does not ionize completely, and therefore it gives us a very good example of a weak base. So what are some of the properties of bases? Let us look at the following illustration for us to be able to understand some of the properties of bases general properties of bases. Let's start with solubility. Not all hydroxides dissolve in water. That is bases. Some dissolve while some do not dissolve. The bases that dissolve are called alkalis. What is their nature? Under the influence of indicators, they turn blue and methyl orange, it turns uh, orange. That is how we know or uh, understand it is a base. Do they react with acids? A base reacts with an acid to give a neutralization reaction that forms salt and water. Bases in general do not react with metals. So that gives us four uh, illustrations or properties of bases. One, their nature. Do they dissolve in water or don't they dissolve in water? The ones that dissolve in water, we have referred to them as alkaries. What is their nature? They turn red litmus paper to blue. They turn methyl orange, uh, orange in color. That is, and they react with acids to give us salt and water. And they do not react with metals. In, uh, this is a summary to help us understand how we write this chemical reaction. A neutralization occurs when a base reacts with an acid. And by adding, for instance, dilute hydrochloric acid to a given amount of sodium hydroxide, a reaction occurs resulting in the formation of sodium chloride and water. Those two substances are neutral, hence a neutralization reaction. Nature of bases. There are three main categories when it comes to the nature of a base. It's either a base is 
basic, acidic, or neutral. Most bases of nonmetals are acidic. For instance, nitrogen 4 oxide. So an acidic base dissolves in water, forming an acidic solution. Basic or alkaline bases. All alkaries. These are bases that dissolve in water, forming a basic solution. These are the bases of metals. For instance, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, rhythm hydroxide, all hydroxides of group 1 elements. Neutral bases. These are bases which are neither acidic nor basic. That means they do not have acidic or basic property. A very good example is hydrogen oxide, commonly referred to as water. So what are some of the application of bases? A base, most of them, can be used to manufacture anti-acid tablet. So the anti-acid tablet that we take to relieve us of some pain, they are made up of bases. What about the detergent that we use? A detergent is a substance that improves the cleaning property of water. They are manufactured using bases. A very good example is sodium hydroxide. So, let's see whether we have been able to understand or to capture the goal of this lesson. One, define the term base. Two, what is the difference between a strong base and a weak base? And can we be able to write a reaction? a chemical equation for the reaction that occurs when nitric acid reacts with sodium hydroxide. For more information concerning this uh, topic, you can refer to the following textbooks for you to be able to understand and get the concept much better. Stay safe. Make sure you stick in books. You're welcome.